That's uh, yeah, that's a lot of sneakers. Okay, let me get this out the way real quick. And let me get these out the way too. All right, here we go, let's do it. Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Joan Jones and I am back with another video for you yeah, Head Top Night Guys. Today, we got a special video. I think each and every last one of us thrive on that moment where we finally see that got him and we hit something for Sneakers app. Now, it is, what, the 2nd of December. The year is finally coming to an end and I just kinda wanna reflect and go over all of the crazy gotems that I got on the Nike Sneakers app. Now, Nike Sneakers app is known for giving a lot of people pain. A lot of people, a lot of suffering. I'd have some good days, I'd have some bad days, I'd have some terrible days. But the good thing about vlogging, the good thing about having a YouTube channel is it's kind of like a documentary in my life. Like every sneaker, every big sneaker that I win, I'm either on YouTube live or I record it and a lot of y'all are with me throughout the process. So I can always go back and, and relive those moments and relive how excited I was when I actually, you know, won these shoes. So I decided to come away with like a list, a top 10 list or actually a top five list of some of the best sneakers that I actually won from Nike sneakers. I mean, I cry a lot about all the L's I take on sneakers because trust me, I go for a lot. I go for almost everything. So um, obviously you don't get them all, but just looking at my order list history of all the sneakers that I did hit from Nike, I gotta say, man, I am truly thankful because they do be showing your boy love. And I like a lot of people, I don't have 40 or 50 accounts where you might have your homeboy's phone, a desktop, a lap. I only use one phone every time and somehow, some way, I still get a lot of good pick. I know a lot of y'all probably picked up a lot more better stuff than me, which is cool, but I can't lie, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the stuff that I've picked up on the Nike sneakers. So what I want you guys to do is comment down below your best Best sneakers app pickup of all time. No matter what it was, don't be afraid, man. Even if it was something you know the world don't like, but you liked, comment it down below and tell me what sneaker did you hit on sneakers app, your favorite one. We're gonna tell those stories down below in the comments. First off, we gotta do an honorable mention, okay? So this shoe here is an honorable mention, the one that did not make the list, but I do love it also with. Well. Ah, here we go. This is a recent pickup. This is very recent. This is the Air Force One Skeleton. Um, I, I do believe that I hit these on live. I think, yeah, I think I was on live when I hit these. I go YouTube live a lot. So if you don't have the notification bell turned on, you definitely should do it because I go on YouTube live a lot on Nike sneakers releases and I literally try to do these live cops. And it's been times where I've hit, you know what I'm saying? And this Air Force One is tough. I'm really starting to get back into the love of Air Force Ones. We all know how important Air Force Ones is when it comes to the sneaker community. This is hands down one of the staples. Um, I do need some all white ones. I don't have the G Fazos, the all white bricks. I don't have a pair of all white Air Force Ones, but I do believe I need some in the collection. But orange is my favorite color. Y'all see the Dream Big merch, black and orange. I mean, this shoe is black and orange. It has the completely, uh, you know, glow in the dark outer sole. Just a great shoe to have. It did not make the list, the top five list. I should have made it the top 10. I do have enough to make it top 10, but however, that is honorable mention. We got the Air Force One Halloween or the Air Force One Skeleton. Coming in at number five, guys, we got the Nike Air Max 90 in this duck camo colorway. Orange, I keep telling y'all, bro. Orange is my favorite color. I love it, but more importantly, when the red duck camo came out, the world went up in flames. I was not that impressed by the red duck camo. I know the red duck camo goes for more resale value, but we're not talking about resale value. We're talking about what I actually wear, what I actually love. These are beautiful to me. I remember my first time wearing these. It definitely got some love on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all who came through for that. But more importantly, a lot of people slept on these. When I wore these around friends and family, they was like, yo, bro, these are hard. And I think this is just one of them shoes that don't really jump out at you until you see them put together the right way. And uh, I love them, man. I don't have a lot of Air Max 90s either. You know, actually, I think this might be my only pair of Air Max 90s. So just having an Air Max 90, it being like this orange duck camo, it's fire. So this is number five on my sneakers pickup so far. And number four is my favorite Air Jordan 4 of all time, or at least general release, okay? The, my favorite general release Air Jordan 4 of all time, we got the bread for the bread Jordan 4. I know y'all can't see above me, but right there, I got a huge cutout over by Wall Kicks. Shout out Wall Kicks for that. But the Jordan 4 bread is my favorite GR sneaker of all time, bro. Looking at this, it is beautiful. It's nothing like, bro, this is the most complete Jordan 4 I've ever laid my eyes on. All black upper, the new back, the new buck on it, I'm sorry. The gray on the eyelash, the gray on the midsole with the white and black outer sole. I mean, this shoe is a work of art. It's beautiful. It's literally nothing. Nike Air on the back, 
come on, bro. Like, this is Jordan brand. I love this shoe. It, it was to the point where I wanted to wear this shoe every day. I had to resist. I had to stop myself from wearing this shoe. Because the thing is, with when you get a shoe like this, it's just like your regular Bulls colorway. So you got like the black, white, and red. So any anything I had on that would have went with a Bulls colorway shoe, I automatically thought bread for every time. I had to start wearing my Flu Game 12. I had to start wearing my Bread 11s. I had to start wearing my Black Cement 3s, even though Black Cement 3 is my favorite shoe. I just fell in love with these for a long time. I just really love this sneaker. And like I said, I hit, a, I hit on these on sneakers app, which a lot of you guys did too. But yeah, definitely top five for sure. Next up, we got a sneaker that I think is slowly becoming my favorite. Okay, so a lot of people ask me what my favorite shoe of all time is. It's tricky for me to answer, right? The shoe that got me started in all of this collecting stuff is the phone posit. I mean, I used to collect phone posits all day, every day, to the point where I used to trade Jordans just for phone posits, like that's all I wanted. After that, I really got into like the Black Cement 3s. My love for the Black Cement 3s, that's my favorite Jordan of all time. But slowly but surely, man, the Nike Dunk is really starting to hold a special place in my heart. The reason being is because I'm starting to wear the Nike Dunk as casual as a lot of people wear the Air Jordan 1 and as casual as a lot of people might wear like the Nike Air Force 1. The Dunks to me are not only super comfortable, but they look great even when they beat up, even when they worn, and it, especially when it comes to the university colors, right? So this is the white and university red. I hit for these own sneakers. I remember this video vividly. Um, I got the I got the Syracuse colorway. This is like the white and orange. I got the white and red. Only thing I need is that Kentucky white and blue. Lord knows I need that. And, and I actually like the the Nike Dunks, the lows, way better than the highs. I'm not really a high fan, but. The university colorways are so easy to wear just due to the basic color, white and red, white and blue, white and orange. You know what I'm saying? It's so easy to wear. So I, I find myself throwing these on all the time. So just, just how easy it is. I hate thinking about dressing. I hate thinking about what's going to go together. I just like stuff being simplistic, bro. When I think simplistic, I think of my dunks. Not just the crazy colorways like the chunky dunkies. Like, no. I think of the college colorway dunks. It's so easy to wear. So easy. <laughs> but yeah, here we have it. I believe it's like, what, number four? Yeah, number four, we have the Nike Dunk University Rear. I'm sorry. That was number three. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. That was number three. Now, let's get into number two. Number two is probably, actually, it is the first of, that I've ever caught on uh, W on Sneakers app. And that is a recent pickup, which you guys already know and love. I'm sorry. I know the lighting does not make the shoe look as desirable as I wanted to. But this is the Jordan 5 Off-White. Now, I hit for these on Sneakers app. I got the early access. I couldn't believe it. Like, I knew Nike sneakers was given early access. Up to this point, I've never even had early access on any sneaker, not to mention an uh, uh, Off-White. Actually, up to this point, I've never even hit on an Off-White release. It'd be so crazy. I can hit on all the big GRs. Every big GR I probably get a piece of, whether it be, you know, the, the Fire Red 5, uh, the Concord, uh, the Infrared 6, like the Bread 4. All of these huge GRs that come out, I, I have my way with. But when it comes to like all of the secluded, you know, limited sneakers, I've never had a fair shake at it. You know what I'm saying? But this is my first time ever winning any sneaker on a sneakers app that was off-white or resale for a lot. Well, actually, I'm capped because that will be my number one, which a lot of you guys probably already know my number one, but I would say, yeah, this is my first ever off-white sneaker to have it for retail. Nothing beats having an off-white sneaker for retail, no matter what off-white shoe it is. It can be like an off-white Vapor Street. It don't matter. Just having an off-white for retail, not only an off-white, off-white five, like off-white Jordan collab, to me, I mean, this one might even be better than the black pair. Matter of fact, comment down below if you think that the black pair is better or the white pair is better. I think I might go with this one over the black pair. So it's just a good sneaker to have, man. I remember being out in Chicago All-Star Weekend for the black pair of Off-White Fives, and I couldn't get it. And then somebody sold me a pair of black Off-White Fives from Cleveland, and that pair wound up being fake when I got a legit check, so I still don't have it. So the black Off-White Five is still a sneaker that I'm looking for continuously to this day. I need, but I still don't have. But uh, yeah, number two, we got the Air Jordan 5 Off-White. Shout out Nike Sneakers. Man. Now, last but not least, I know a lot of you guys probably already know what this is, man. If you do, then shout out to you for watching the channel and always being with me. This is literally the biggest win I've ever gotten on Nike Sneakers to the point where sometimes I even question, why even complain? Like, you won this shoe from Nike Sneakers. Is there anything else to complain about? Like, you got this shoe for absolutely retail. Might be like one of the biggest shoes of the last 10 years. I got from Nike sneakers. Without further ado, you guys probably already know. It is the Nike Jordan 1 Travis Scott. 
like I don't even I can't even explain these are still DS by the way I haven't worn these I get scared before I even put them on I know some people use these as beaters a lot of youtubers probably wear these shoes every day like I don't know man uh, when it comes to the Nike Jordan Trevor Scott ones it really holds a special place in my heart now quick story I know a lot of y'all know the story too but I gotta say it I hit for the Travis Scott fours on sneakers app too but I hit for a smaller size wind up selling it and I've always regretted it. I, if, if my biggest sneaker regret was selling my Travis Scott fours, even though they were too small for me, I feel like I should have traded for my size. But I was going through a lot. Like, like a lot of y'all don't know, man. Like, before YouTube really took off for me, like money was very tight. And when you're doing YouTube videos and you're doing YouTube videos and you're not getting money back, it's hard because you got to think my content is based around or surrounded by what can I buy, right? So. If, all my content surrounds up by sneakers, I gotta buy these sneakers. So if I consistently have to buy sneakers and I have no money, something gotta shake, right? So it was like a point in time where YouTube was not good, I was not getting paid well, and I was down to my luck, and I had these Travis Scott Fords that wasn't my size and I wasn't wearing, it was a DS, I sold them. And I really wish I would've held out a little bit longer, man, it's my biggest regret I've ever done. And I need them Travis Scott Fords back. And now I gotta pay the price. I think I sold them for like 500 bucks. They go for like 900 to 1,000 now, which isn't no fun at all, man. It hurts my heart every time I tell that story, but I do have the Air Jordan Travis Scott ones here. And um, I didn't hit on sneakers, but I'm lucky enough to say I got the sixes for retail too. So I got the Travis Scott sixes for retail. I got the Travis Scott one highs for retail. And I got the Travis Scott uh, Ford for retail. Now, now the Travis Scott one lows I got for uh, resale. I had to pay a thousand for those, but I mean, it don't get much better than the Travis Scott one. I mean, think about what shoe would you have if you had a chance to get any shoe. Y'all can comment down if you want to. If you had a chance to get any shoe out there for retail, what shoe would that be? Okay, I want to know that. Uh, comment it down below. But this has been my top five sneakers from Nike Sneakers app. Um, I think my luck, as y'all can see, is pretty good. It's a lot of stuff I went for. I wish I could hit for some other shoes, but I mean, I can't complain, right? You feel me? I got some good Ws. I just need my Travis Scott Forge back. I need it. I need it, bro. But thank you guys so much for watching, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because at 70K, that is when I'm dropping the Dream Big merch. I got the shirt on now. We do have hoodies available. We're going to have multiple sizes. I cannot wait to drop this, but I just can't do it until we 70K. I would, I would really like to hit 70K before the end of the year. I mean, we, we got like 1,800 more subs. I, I believe we can do it, but... I mean, it takes you guys, man. So hit the thumbs up button, share this channel, help it grow, and hopefully we hit that 70K before 2021. Drop a comment, let me know what you think about the video, and until next time, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but who are you putting in that work, though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.